You saw our elected officials in the state of Idaho really commending law enforcement and their heroic efforts today, their quick response as well. We're going to get out to Joe Paris now, who's live across the street from the mall. And Joe, you're near uh, the Dave and Buster's where there's a separate scene. We don't know if they're related at this time. Is that true? Well, Morgan, we're actually learning more about the situation here off of Emerald in Milwaukee. And first, I want to get out of the way so you can see the scene here has actually changed, uh, I would say, significantly since the last time we checked in at about 430. You'll see here there's one white SUV behind police tape now with, again, if you've been with us, we reported that it appears to be a bullet hole through the passenger side and driver side front door. Again, we have no idea how those got there, how many shots were fired. We can just report what we're seeing. A short time ago, there was a second car that was also being blocked off in this area that was actually moved just a few moments ago but it looked like someone from Boise police but it was definitely a police investigator someone didn't just walk in and, and grab their car and leave but it was interesting to note that they did move that second car now let's go back to that Dave and Buster's parking lot behind the building I should say we've been talking about this for the last few hours um, there was uh, several dozen officers as, as recently as 20 minutes ago going through that lot it looks like the scene there has quieted down uh, quite a bit now again we're waiting to hear official confirmation from the Boise Police Department and investigators about exactly what happened here. But we are learning some new information based on uh, uh, really the and you can hear a siren behind me. That's a Boise police or excuse me, a Boise fire truck that's going towards a different area. I want to make sure everyone knows it's not related to what's going on here. But um, again, the information that we got from public uh, scanner traffic from different law enforcement agencies, newsrooms will listen into these uh, to try to get information what's going on. According to public uh, to public broadcast traffic. We understand now that there was a call put in to the dispatch that there was a, a, a suspect that they were looking for located near this Dave and Buster's. Again, they said over the, the broadcastify, as they call it, a primary suspect was confirmed, ran by Dave and Buster's wearing dark clothes that had all black on and wearing a backpack. And then a short time later, it was reported over the scanner traffic that that person was in custody. Again, we didn't know who that person is, how they're involved in the situation. We can just tell you, based on what dispatchers were talking about uh, during the moments of, of really critical moments of what's going on in and around the mall, we did learn from the, the public scanner traffic that someone related to the mall was seen running through the back of this Dave and Buster's parking lot. For now, that's all we really know. We're kind of just putting together what we do know, waiting for Boise police to confirm all of that information. Uh, again, Morgan, though, not a lot of answers a lot of questions. I know there's a lot of members of the community that have been walking over towards this area, namely the Target parking lot, asking what we know, asking what had happened. Um, there is crime scene tape up all across the Target, across the street from this Dave and Buster's. Again, uh, that's just really for investigators to block off the parking lot as they were searching for possible evidence. They were curious or possibly had information to lead them to believe that there could be uh, bullet shells or bullet casings that might have traveled across the street. We watched Boise police officers actually going through through car by car in the Target parking lot looking for something, inspecting the cars, looking for damage. Um, I spoke to one Boise police officer who was working. He said he really couldn't tell me what he was doing, um, and they continued to work. But uh, Morgan, it's still a uh, it's still an active scene, but it is quieting down now as Boise police and other agencies are starting to clear the area. But uh, still a lot of police tape up here at Emerald in Milwaukee, right near the mall. Again, we're learning more about what possibly happened here. We'll tell you to stay tuned here to KTVB as we confirm accurate and detailed information. And Joe, we heard Chief Ryan Lee say earlier in that press conference that Andrew was at that they do believe there was one suspect and that person is in custody, so there's no additional threat to the public. But I do want to ask you, you had shown us at 334 and 430 that, that SUV right there and what appeared to be a bullet hole in the window. If your photojournalist could just pan back over, do you know anything about that so far? Yeah, uh, on that white SUV that um, that there seems to be uh, two bullet holes in, we don't exactly know how this is related to the whole situation. We've gotten a lot of people walking by asking what is what's going on here. We don't know. I can tell you though that we saw several police investigators walking through the area, going through the car. Um, they painted the road to mark exactly where the car was, took items in and out of that car. We're not exactly sure what this has to do with this scene. As investigators continue to work through it, we hope to learn more in the coming hours.
Okay, Joe Paris live for us this evening. Joe, thank you so much. And as Andrew said earlier, Chief Ryan Lee not taking any questions from reporters in their press conference. He said it was just too premature in the investigation. But to recap what's going on, in case you're just joining us, four people injured in a shooting at the Boise Town Square Mall, including a Boise police officer, two people were killed, the suspect in custody. Just a heart-wrenching day here in Boise, in our home, and in the state of Idaho.